Hi hey guys, it's me Ubed, and today we will see how we can integrate a PayPal checkout service with the help of Python. So here I have my notebook and I'll show you the exact process which you can do for your own uh, custom website. Okay, let's get it started. Okay, before uh, starting it out, I want you to know if you are working on any custom project, you can let me know through WhatsApp, mail or you can fill out this form. Okay, uh, let's see how we can do it. Uh, first step will be authorization. This is a three step formula, uh, which is present even on the documentation of uh, PayPal, but uh, here is the guide how you can do it manually in Python without using their SDK with merely uh, REST APIs calls so that you can do it for any purpose and in any language, right? Okay and uh, the second step is create order and the third step is capture the payment so let's see step by step uh first thing and the most important is to get your app credentials which uh, can be uh, obtained from developer account of paypal you have to sign up for that uh there, there will be a link attached to uh, here you can just go to uh, like your normal PayPal and then there will be a link to the developer or you can just search for the uh, developer account of PayPal before that I made a video on how you can uh, integrate PayPal through postman so this is the extension of that uh, tutorial uh, now we are replicating that exact process with the help of Python. Okay. Uh, so I am using sandbox mode because I want to test this service. I have uh, integrated with the live credentials also. Obviously, I'm not gonna show that. Uh, but uh, when you click on this view live credentials, then you can create your own uh, business credentials which you can use this is only the testing mode that means we have 5000 uh, credits in our account which you can use to make transaction and see if everything is working fine okay uh, we have talked a lot now let's see the practical these things username is the client id exactly this one and the secret is your password here and the url you are getting is this one and if you are doing it on live just remove this sandbox otherwise all things will be same grant type this is important is the client uh, credentials and you can just get these uh, exact things like i am not um uh, doing something on my own <laughs> uh like it's all present on their documentation so always go to the documentation and see things where the source of it right because in the tutorial uh, sometimes they pretend like they are writing on their own but I can guarantee you that they are referring to something okay so you will fork this collection you will get the uh, uh, API calls all the api calls which we have replicated here or you can just uh, watch this video before okay and uh, after that when you are getting authorized to make transaction you will get uh, 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 where it is access token here it is access token which means that you can make transactions now as official authorized user of paypal and a business user basically so i will just run this let's see if i get that back a request successful access token success i have made these validations so that i can know by the logs that i am going right okay now we have to create the order and uh, the order can be obviously be uh, modified and will be totally on your use case what you are selling so i am selling credits uh, for a website uh, so i will be selling those 
let's uh, give some random number 77 remember this number so this much amount will be used to transaction so 77 here 77 here what is this this is the amount section where you are defining what is the currency in my case it is brl because my uh, paypal account was from brazil so i am using their currency but uh you can use any currency which is in your country right the default country of the uh, default country currency of your country okay and the currency code uh, here and uh we can even define the country code somewhere but uh i think that's it uh for the order creation so in the breakdown you will tell like uh what is the total value what is the uh total items based on this quantity which you are getting now this processing can be done through python uh basic calculations uh, rather than doing it uh, exactly here right so it's totally depend on your flow okay we are doing the transaction for 77 brl and let's see that and the return url or uh, the cancel url will be the uh, urls where uh, the traffic will uh, go or the traffic will redirect it uh, after the uh, they have made purchase right okay let's see let's see yes we are done and using those exact credentials we are uh creating an order Let's see yes order id success this is the order here i will get an interesting thing which is approve url so what i have to do now is copy this and send it to my customer so you will make a flow like uh redirect ring your uh, customer to this url after you have created it okay i will create uh, open a new tab and i will paste it here i will use my sandbox account which you can get uh, through here sandbox account in the testing tools here i have my uh personal and business sandbox account and you can see the currency is br that means brazil the so personal account i will copy this username and i will use this account to make purchase password i know that but in your case that will be obviously different so open that account and you will get that password like this so you can just copy this and uh use that so for the business and paypal both are present okay so you can see this amount 77 exactly what we want and yes i am proceeding with this phase and you are seeing the change of language that's because it is i don't know Pro uh, portuguese or brazilian whatever but uh yeah so this was the url which we have given in case we are uh doing the transaction successfully right return url okay perfect now what we have done we have uh created an order and get it approved by the customer that means customer is paying for us now we have to capture that payment that means we will be saying to paypal now that the payment has been done by the customer now get it credit in my account so i will use this id order id in this url the checkout orders and this url slash capture that means i want to capture now using the same username and password i will do this so what i will do print 
success Let's print it and the code will be 201 most code okay id is this and status is completed the i'm not sure seeing it correctly but i hope you are seeing it uh email address is this which is the personal account of sandbox account id so that's how you will get all the information uh of your customer you can save it uh to get them uh back or to just uh, get in touch with them anytime right so that's how this thing is done in the python i will uh, record videos on some other languages also so that every uh, language can be covered uh, but you can always just replicate the postman api calls in any language and you will get it working on any system uh, anywhere right okay so i hope uh, you like the video uh, feel free to uh, subscribe and let me know if you are working on any custom project thanks for watching i'll meet you in the next one